So the DJI Pocket 3, who is it for? Is it a viable alternative for a proper mirrorless camera? Well, we're gonna be discussing that and much more in today's video. So first of all, why did I actually buy this camera? Well, if I'm honest, I wanted to return to the simpler times. When I was a teenager growing up, I always used to use a camcorder and I loved the simplicity of just opening out the screen, pressing record and going. And over the years, as I've got into videos of profession, I use much more complex cameras, but sometimes I wanna be in the moment, I wanna capture moments with the family in the simplest way possible. Okay, let's talk about some of the physical aspects of this camera. First of all is its tiny size and really lightweight. It's so small, as the name suggests, you can just pop it in your pocket and take it anywhere. And in terms of weight, my lightest mirrorless camera was 500 grams, and this is less than half at well under 200 grams. And if you buy the camera with a creator kit, which I highly recommend, you get that extra long life battery extender, a wireless mic, and you also get a really handy carry case. Well, this is an incredibly easy to use camera. Literally, all you have to do is spin the little screen, the camera switches on, and you press record. It really is as simple as that. If you wanted to shoot vertical videos, you just press and hold the power button and then press again to record. It's got little side screens, you just swipe across different edges of the screen and you'll get options such as video resolution and frame rate, photo mode, super slow mode. Just everything's really easy and really accessible. If anything, the size of the screen, the fact that the buttons are sometimes a little bit small, that's the only downside I'd say. So now let's talk about image quality. Well, the 4K footage from this ca camera looks absolutely amazing. It has a larger one inch sensor than the previous versions of the DJI Pocket, which means that you get less noise and you get more shallow depth of field. It gives a little bit more of a cinematic look. If anything, the picture is probably a touch too sharp, so you can go into the settings and I would recommend knocking the sharpness down by two notches. And one of the features that really attracted me to this camera is 4K at 120 frames a second with no crop. It enables you to get super slow motion shots that have a real wow impact and look absolutely amazing. The camera also offers a range of picture profile settings. There's normal, which is standard contrast and colors, and then you've got some flat profiles such as D-Log and HLG. However, I feel like the beauty of this camera is in its simplicity. It's something you can take out, shoot things quickly, so I prefer to leave it on normal as it does a really great job. Speaking of settings, there is an option to get your exposure control manually by shutter speed or by ISO, but again, I find that auto exposure setting on the camera does a really good job. Now let's talk about low light. Well, action cameras and smaller sensor cameras typically suffer a little bit when you're shooting in dark conditions. However, the upgrade to the sensor size means that this camera performs very respectably in low light conditions. A slight niggle comes when you are using ND filters. It's recommended when you buy the ND filters that you don't leave them on when you switch off the camera but this is a camera that you're gonna be switching on and off constantly. So I did try using them, but then I stopped after a while because I just didn't find them very practical. Now, another feature that's really incredible about this camera is face tracking. As you'll see right now, as I'm moving around, the camera is following me, almost as if someone was filming me on a tripod. But all I've got really is I've popped the camera onto a light stand, I've got it to track my face, and it adds a real nice production value as you get real nice dynamic shots even when you're filming on your own. The wireless audio transmitter that is included with the Creator Combo Kit is brilliant. It's dead easy to use, all you do is switch it on and when your camera's switched on as well, the two connect and it's just dead simple. It will record a really professional quality straight into your camera with your footage. I've been using it right now but with a lavalier mic so you'll see right here it's got the lavalier plugged in and that's just beneath my clothing. If I disconnect this lavalier, you'll hear that the inbuilt mic of the transmitter itself is still really, really good. And this will be the most convenient solution for most people as you can just clip it on your clothing and you're good to go. 
And right now you're actually listening to the sound directly from the camera body. So no transmitter used right now. It does record voice as well if they're close to the camera. Obviously if you're further away, the quality will drop off and you won't be able to hear it as clearly. But by recording in stereo, it does allow you to record the second channel of nice ambient sound in case you want to use that in your edit. So now let's round things up. Who exactly is the DJI Pocket 3 aimed at? Well, I think it's aimed at a whole range of people. I think it's ideal for families who want to capture precious moments of their children growing up. I think it's ideal for content creators who work alone. They want a, a setup that's quite minimal. With this, you really can take just the main camera itself with a battery pack, just that wireless audio transmitter, and you've got everything you need to capture really great footage. For me, it's brought back a lot of the fun of filmmaking. I use big gear when I'm doing weddings and corporate gigs, but sometimes I just wanna have a good time with my family. I wanna be with them in the moment. So in that respect, I highly recommend the DJI Pocket 3. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a subscribe. I've got lots more content on the way. And if you have any questions at all about the DJI Pocket 3, please pop them in the comments and we'll all get them answered. See you next time.